Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan Martin here with your 11 Alive News live update. The solar eclipse in Georgia has officially begun. Right now, we're taking a live look at the TELUS Science Museum telescope. The peak for the eclipse here in Georgia isn't for about another hour or so. And although the peach state won't be in the path of totality, we will be able to see a partial eclipse. Our chief meteorologist Chris Holcomb joining us live right now from the TELUS Science Museum. So Chris, I know a lot of folks gathering there right now. You know, you can kind of feel it in the air now that the uh, partial eclipse has started. People are getting a little more excited. We've had folks coming upstairs, looking into the telescope here in the observatory, viewing the beginning of this right now. Here is another reminder of the timeline. As you just mentioned, Jonathan, the eclipse started just a moment ago at 1.45. It is going to be moving to about maximum eclipse at 3.04 this afternoon when it's covered between 80 to 85 percent. Then it'll be ending at 421. Joining me right now, Carissa Zadanki. She is an astronomer here at TELUS. And you know, I've heard a lot of people say we're not in the path of totality. It doesn't really matter, but still a partial eclipse is really something to see. Oh, absolutely. It is still something very exciting. And it's the last one that we're going to see with this much coverage until 2045. So. And what people are seeing right now on their screen that we're going to show you the actual feed that's coming in right now. We're beginning to see what almost looks like a little bite being taken out by the sun, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> and that's the moon in front of the sun kind of causing it to block it. Yes, and uh, it's going to just keep covering up more and more until 304 when you mentioned. And at that point, we're going to see it kind of start to back away. <laughs> so for people, we, we've been cautioning people to definitely wear the, the eclipse glasses when they're looking directly at the sun. They can also use some solar eclipse viewers as well, the boxes that people make, a pinhole box and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. How can you urge people don't look at the sun? Basically, don't stare at it <laughs> with your naked eye. Uh, that's one way to burn your retinas. Uh, but any sort of protection, like uh, ISO certified solar glasses, solar viewers, pinhole projectors. One of my favorite ways is even just going like this with your hands, because even those little gaps between your fingers will act as pinhole projectors and show the eclipse in your shadow. And even people walking around on a sidewalk under trees and tree leaves, the shadows are going to look different today, right? Oh, yes. So yeah, the, the tree shadows, you'll see tiny eclipses all over, assuming it's sunny where you are. <laughs> all right, that's good. And that's the thing. We've been watching that cloud cover today. Even though we have had a few clouds here in Cartersville and North Georgia, we just have to be patient because those clouds tend to move away. So we are still seeing good opportunities and great glimpses of the partial eclipse as it has just started just a little while ago. So remember, maximum eclipse this afternoon at 304. If you're going to be looking directly at the sun, you have to wear those eclipse viewers that are ISO certified so that you will protect your eye. You don't want to burn your retina at all. If you want more information about the eclipse today, we have an entire section of our website dedicated to this at 11alive.com slash eclipse. You can look how to make an eclipse viewer at your house uh, to figure out how to do that really quickly. And Chris, the really cool thing is that we're seeing a lot of families out today. I know a lot of school districts, or at least several school districts out today, uh, because last time we saw this, it was 2017. Some kids perhaps too young to remember that. Exactly right. And as Carissa mentioned, the next one that's going to cross the United States, similar to what's happening here, is in 2045. So we'll have a while long before another total eclipse crosses right. the United States. Yeah, absolutely. Chris, thanks so much. You can join us for local coverage this afternoon. We're checking back with Chris at the museum and also at Stone Mountain, where we have reporters. Live coverage continues today on 11 Alive News at 4.